Hey guys, I'm Anush Patel from AndroidRoots.com and today let's go ahead and take a look at Cataclysm ROM for the Nexus 5. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people have been asking me where is a Cataclysm ROM review for the Nexus 5. I really want to see the features and all that. Well, it's finally here. I know this Cataclysm ROM is very, very, um, you know, high demand, um, very popular. Um, so this is an excellent ROM for you guys for anyone to try out. It comes with a lot of features, mods, and tweaks for your Nexus 5 device. And if you already haven't seen how to install custom ROMs, that link will be down below as well. Of course, we're running on Android 4.4 KitKat for our Nexus 5 device. Let's go ahead and dive into settings and go straight away into Cataclysm settings right here. Um, so as you can see, you got a bunch of stuff, but uh, I just want to go directly to my one of my favorites, and that is immersive mode. So if I go and turn this on, as you can see, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, it makes your screen so much more bigger, uh, so much more cleaner, and let's say you want to get back to it, you just swipe from the top or bottom. So I just swipe from the top and boom, you got your stuff back. Of course, you go and slide away, wait for it to disappear. If you want your navigation bars, just swipe from the bottom and you're good to go. Um, so I really like that. Of course, it can't be used uh, daily or anything, but if you're like uh, watching a YouTube video, maybe in a landscape or a portrait, I mean, and you want to just have it bigger or reading a web page on the web browser, you can just go ahead and quickly turn that on. Um, so you can get, you know, just get a bigger screen, especially with these uh, navigation bars. They do make the five inch screen on the Nexus 5 smaller. Uh, so this feature really does help and it just makes it look so much more cleaner. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Let's move on from that. I'm getting too into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go ahead and go into quick toggles right here. And um, of course, you have options. Uh, so you can go and choose which toggles you'd like. Um, so you can go and check mark whichever one you want. So we can go and remove uh, settings. Uh, actually, no, let's keep settings. I like settings. Uh, you can remove user. Uh, let's remove battery, mobile signal. And now if you go and look into it, it's all gone. And of course, you can go add all these other ones, GPS, Wi-Fi tethering, all that great stuff too. You can change the size, rearrange the toggles of the order, um, quick pull down. So you can go and change it from always from the left. So now if I go from the left, it goes directly to the quick toggles. If I go from the middle, it's back to notifications, as you can see right there. So that's nice. That's a nice feature. Um, and you can also enable fourth column. So you'll, it'll be smaller, but you can have four now in the column. So that's nice. It's a nice touch to it. I gotta say <laughs> Um, lock screen options, I believe this is the targets. Um, so yes, slider shortcuts. So you have all these options for applications and stuff. Um, so you can go ahead and add a couple um, empty, huh. That's a little bit weird. There is usually an option for applications, huh. All right, oh, I guess the applications just show up here because I have file manager, or not. Um, so yeah, you can, add, you can add shortcuts and contacts and all that. I thought there was applications, um, empty. Uh, no, I guess not. Uh, okay, so you can add options right there to your lock screen if you guys haven't seen that before. Uh, you can change the style of it. So hide nav bar, hide status bar. Um, let's do hide all. I want to see that. <laughs> you guys know I like really clean stuff. And boom. Wow, that's really, really nice. I really like that. Clean on top, clean on bottom. I really like that. I'm going to keep that feature. <laughs> let's go back out of that now. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, you can do in-call blocker. Um, so if you want to block some annoying uh, telemarketers or, you know, your best friend who keeps calling you. <laughs> I guess they're not their best friend anymore. But, yeah, you can go and block them. Uh, smart radio. Um, I kind of looked into this. I really didn't know what it was. Um, it's I know it has to do with uh, saving battery and all that. Uh, if you go and turn it on, you can see a little bit more onto that. I'm not really going to go into this as I'm not a fan of, you know, changing it from, you know, LTE to 3G or to, you know, HSPA plus and all that stuff. So I'm just going to leave that off. I, you know, I never run out of battery at the end of the day. So that really doesn't apply to me. But if you're a person who uses a lot of data and then doesn't use a lot of data, this could be a great option for you to drop that data. So it saves you a lot of battery as data just chew up a lot of battery, just the radio signal. All right there, soft key mods fade, so you can fade away the mods right there. Uh, battery style right here. So you got a couple options. Let's go ahead and take a look at the circle. And now you have a circle at the top. So that's pretty nice. Resize navigation bar. Um, I, reach, I thought I changed it before. Okay. And now it's smaller. You can change it bigger. So yep. So if you don't want it as uh, big because you got smaller hands, uh, you can change it to smaller. That's nice and convenient. And one of the more cooler features I found, even though a lot of people aren't going to be using this, I found this pretty cool as you can restore and back up Cataclysm ROM settings. Uh, so let's say you back it up, do a factory reset, you can just go and restore that really quickly. Um, I think if you can find that file, if it backs it up somewhere you know. Or let's say, for example, you want to back up a certain uh, setting 
for Cataclysm and you change it around and say, oh man, I want to go back to my old previous settings. You can just go and restore that backup file and you'll be good to go uh, without a problem. So that's really nice. Overall, Cataclysm ROM is a really good ROM. Definitely try it out. Um, it's one of my more favorite ROMs for the Nexus 5 or any other Nexus device actually as it is widely av available. Um, but that's pretty much it, Cataclysm ROM. I didn't mention all the features, but that's where you come in. Go ahead and try out this ROM, see all the features, see all the mods, and see how you like it. And be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner. I really do appreciate all that good stuff right there. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my other social networks all down below. And link to the ROM, of course, is down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.